Merry meet everyone. Um, hold on. I apologize. Um, and for that, and also for having this video up so late, I am your Wednesday host for Witches of the Moon. Welcome back, by the way. Um, I'm my name is Houston, and um, I want to say please excuse my background. I'm at work. Um, and the end of the shift, we are we closed up one of my. Uh, one of the stores that I work at, so now we're consolidating all of that inventory into one location, so it's kind of a mess. And if you've been following, I know when I've been doing videos here in the past, you see it's always a mess to begin with. But beside that, on another note, on the important note, this week we are talking about the difference between spiritual mounting and spiritual possession. Um, I actually learned a couple things from watching Ava and Rihanna's video, and I do have some different opinions. Um, that I want to share with you guys today. Um, I've done some research, excuse me, um, and dug deep into my personal feelings of how I feel um, about the words and the term spiritual mounting versus spiritual possession. Um, I feel that possession has been um, glorified in a horror standpoint of the American media um, from the exorcist, of course, or... Um, Catholicism and demons and evil things entering your body and not wanting to like you know, go and you know eat take over your soul kind of thing um, but I also see possession can also be a good thing um, I have read um, multiple books um, and this is just from experience not experience standpoint but from a book reading standpoint I have not myself um, been possessed um i have seen someone who's been possessed and i can tell you that story um later later in the video um but i personally have not i have um brought about during a reading a spirit kind of mediumship and they have come through me um but i was aware of everything so i feel that that would be more of a mounting case um it was a mounting spiritual mounting not spiritual possession i feel there's a spiritual possession you the person loses all consciousness of what has happened when the spirit takes your body but that's just my opinion um it could be that um you are able to um still have conscious grasp while the spirit has you have allowed the spirit to enter your body or mount you um i myself i don't know um, technically the difference because I have never really heard the term mounting, spiritual mounting before this season either. Um, I've heard of possession and it, I've heard it in good and bad terms, um, terminology standpoint. In shamanic practices, um, the shamans become possessed, um, almost like they are, they welcome the spirits, um, into their body to possess them, to help heal, um, the sick to bring about information for the tribe, um, to divine future events for the tribe. Um, this is almost like the current witches drawing down the moon, where you draw the essence of the moon goddess into yourself, um, which could be another part of invocation and possession. Um, but I am don't use the term mounting. Um, I don't really go out and seek to be um, you know I don't seek to have that experience I guess you could say um, and I, I feel like I'm gonna I jumble a lot of words together and I am so sorry um, it, it is late at night um, I just got off a shift um, but <clears throat> I do not feel that possession the word possession is a bad term, um, because it is is used throughout history um, and throughout uh, different practices um, for doing something good and bad. Um, I think a lot of um, the church's influence um, demonized that, um, where you would bring in a spirit of, let's say, an ancestor or a spirit of healing or of the land. Um, to possess you and to bring about their magical qualities and work through you. Um, 
And truthfully, I don't know if that's considered mounting. Um, I just know um, that that in my eyes, that's a type of possession, and it's not really a bad thing. So, but it's also it's not like the spirit is you know jumped into you because you let your guard down and it wants to take over your body. Um, that's more of the demonized possession where you would need uh, someone to exercise the force out of your body. Um, now, this video is going to be kind of short, so I apologize for that. I hope I'm, that made a little bit of sense. Um, the only place that I've heard the term spiritual mounting is um, when I've read a couple articles on uh, the Voodoo or Voodoo um, and the Voodoo who practice um, and they um, are mounted by the spirit so they worship or their ancestors to um, bring about spiritual gifts and things like that and if I have said anything wrong uh, please correct me in the comments um, this was years ago when I read it or when someone told me. I don't even know where I read it or, or, or who told me. I did. It just, I vaguely, vaguely remember hearing that phrase. Um, and I know that it happens during... I know when they... It doesn't happen like on a, uh, every occasion, but it, it's usually during uh, one of their rituals, um, which I don't... Like celebratory rituals, um, Unfortunately, I, I don't know much about voodoo, so I, I can't really speak on that. That's the only thing I know. And I apologize if I crossed any lines with anybody. Um, if I said anything wrong, just correct me in the, inbox, or the um, comment section below. That would be fantastic. But the one um, time that I did experience a possession, um, it wasn't really bad to an extent. It wasn't. It was, um, I know it was a Sabbath. I was back home it was before I came to college. It was me, my sister, and her mom. They both are practicing pagans. And um, we had my spirit board out, which is um, a lot like a Ouija board, but uh, has a lot more information and a lot more detail. It's um, my psychic circle is what it's called. You can find it on the Amazon. Um, they sell them a little bit everywhere. I think I got mine at um, Barnes & Noble, Books Man, one of those two, when they sold spirit boards. Um, there's a couple different variations of it, but we were using it. Um, I don't remember what Sabbath it was. Um, I don't think it was Samhain. Um, I think it might have been Beltane, actually, or Ostara. I think it was Ostara, um, and we decided we wanted to communicate with the spirits. Uh, her house is very spiritually active, um, so we wanted to communicate with some of the spirits that were roaming in her house, which they can see them. They're psychically amazing, um, but they just wanted to interact with them on the spiritual board, and we wanted to have an experience of using the, my, my psychic circle. So we get into it, and we actually start to move the piece around. And all of a sudden, um, I'm sitting, like I'm sitting right here, and then across from me is from um, my sister's mom, and then beside me on my is my sister, and we have three of us, you know, going back and forth, asking questions. And, you know, getting vague amount of answers all of a sudden, um, you sense an energy change. Because when you, or I, we sense an energy change, like something weird's going on. Um, it wasn't anything freaky. Um, it was just like an energy shift. You know, how you like, you walk into a place and it's like, whoa, what the fuck was that? Um, and it, um, out of nowhere, my um, sister started talking but she was talking in a, um, a voice that seemed distant, like it wasn't her voice and it wasn't close to you. Like it sounded like it was very far away um, and it was unisexual. It wasn't her voice and it wasn't a guy or a girl. We couldn't distinguish. Um, well, we distinguished the spirit, but we couldn't, at the time we couldn't distinguish who it was. Um, and I kept throwing up in my mind, protection, 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 you know, cast out. Because I was new, so I was a little bit afraid. I was, I've only, I was only practicing for a year at the time. Um, and they wanted to try the experience, and so did I, you know. I was always eager to learn. Um, and I kept getting a flash in my mind of the um, planchette flying across the table into the TV, which was, you know, five feet away from us. And um, 
so I kept throwing up the white bubble around everybody and protecting and protecting and protecting. And, um, you know, we, um, she goes into, I don't know what to say. Uh, we kind of get the out of information out of her or out of the spirit that uh, he is like the, the, um, spirit of the land that they lived on, that they live on. Um, he's been with, uh, been there for generations, um, since the beginning of times, but what he said, um, and that he, um, ultimately wanted to play cause it is, um, it was a season of, as a season of festivity, so I guess it was Beltane. Um, and he wanted to throw the planchette into the teepee. But that she, and then she turned to me and pointed to me, the young one wouldn't allow me to do that. And with that, um, we, me and her mom took our hands off the planchette. She grabbed the salt, the holy salt she had, and rubbed it on my sister's mouth and tongue and said, Thank you for your visit, but it's time for you to leave. And with that, um, my sister actually fell forward onto the table. It was really weird. It was, it was almost kind of like an exorcist movie. But, um, and she said she, um, she remembered it. She remembered what he said. Um, and, but she felt like she was there, but she was a visitor. Like, he took control of her, but he just pushed her aside to an extent. So that's my story with possession. So I guess this video was a little bit longer than I thought. But so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, please put them down in the comment section below. And with that, I will see you guys next week. Many blessings.